Hey, I'm Steve Sievers for Bionic Buzz. Our coverage of Cinegraph 2017 continues. I'm here with Pete and who's the face wear. Yep. You guys, I've seen your stuff so much. You guys do so much video games. Tell us about the history of every company. So our company has roots in facial recognition research back in the late 90s, actually. Wow. Um, and one of the smartest things our company did was we hired an animator to basically use all the study of the movement of the face but apply it to character animation. Mm -hmm. So what I enjoy about our, our company is we kind of are spread across all forms of character animation and entertainment. So VR, film, games, TV, anywhere where you see live character animation. Obviously the face is where storytelling is done. Um, and where we've been able to kind of cut our teeth is embracing kind of the left and right brain to content production. So, um, you know, from an actor's point of view, being able to make sure that the actor is comfortable when you're capturing their performance. Mm -hmm. So our technology just needs video, right? So it's just an actor acting on video. And then on the software side, we basically have software designed for animators. So artists themselves are very comfortable. They're animating in a product like Maya. So we have plugins into common um, animation platforms and engines. Uh, to create animation basically from video. So um, with that becomes, we've been a part of a lot of big franchises over yeah, the let's years. Let's go list. You did Call of Duty, you got the upcoming Star Wars Battlefront 2, which I'm super excited about. Yeah. Uh, WWE, which I love. WWE, NBA, we've been on the NBA 2K franchise for years and years. FIFA, uh, Madden, Injustice 2. On the feature side, we did The Walk, uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, oh, on the TV cool. side, we, there was a pro uh, film series called Imaginary Mary that was on ABC. Uh, once upon a time, so it's just it's interesting for me that we we can be a part of so many different mediums and yeah. kind of obviously the face is where you tell your stories. Let's go through how it works because you put like how many sensors go on your face and you got this almost like this weird mouth guard thing that yeah. goes. Yeah, so we um, we're markerless in that you don't have to put anything on your face okay. because everybody's human face is constructed the same. We use the features of your face as markers. Oh. Right, cool. so we, once we know your brows and where your eyes are, we know your mouth and your noses. So we track the motion of your face just from video by doing that. So our technology uses facial recognition to find your face, and then we do face tracking to basically study the motion of how your face is actually moving. So we just need to shoot video at the end of the day. We've designed our own, what we call our head-mounted camera. That's kind of the head brace looking thing where you have a camera mounted out in front of your face and we'll usually combine that with body motion capture. So as I move my face, the camera's tracking with wherever I'm looking. Mm -hmm. um, but generally, we need to shoot video of a, an actor that can be an actor in a voiceover booth, that can be an animator in the studio. It doesn't matter. We just need video. And then our software basically will track the motion. So we have a standalone piece of software called Analyzer, which will track the motion. Or we have a piece of software called Live, which will stream your motion onto a character in real time. Wow. So if you want to appear and have you know Charlie the Tuner or whatever appear at Comic Con and interview Bruce Willis, that's where you would use the Live software to basically stream, and then the character is going to be live talking and puppeting. Um, on the post and offline side, like a tool for animators, you would record a video, and then that goes through the analyzer software, and then Retargeter, which is a plugin into Autodesk products, so Maya, 3D Studio Max, Motion Builder. So there's kind of a real-time workflow and a non-real-time workflow. Um, all of our software, you can get a free trial on the website. So people that want to try it out, obviously animators, the most cynical people, and yeah. they, they want to believe that, that I can still do my job and this works. We understand that. We've been designing and developing products for years and years. So not only is there a, there's a great knowledge base, uh, there's a free trial with the knowledge base, and then we have sample assets so people can download sample rigs and really kind of figure it out. And, and some people, we have some finished files, like to download finished files and reverse engineer how it was done. So we have all the different ways in which people like to try products out. On the hardware side, we do, uh, for people interested in our higher end head cam system, we have a free evaluation for studios or uh, anybody that wants to try that out. So here at SIGGRAPH, apparently you have a big announcement. What is it? We do. So um, a couple months ago, we announced a new updated version to our real-time product called Facewear Live. So at SIGGRAPH, we announced the SDK version of that technology. Oh, cool. So people that want to integrate the real-time functionality into their games or into their experiences. So for example, a AAA you know, game that has a virtual world and you want your players to interact as other players and all they need to do is sit in front of a webcam and do that, that's what the SDK can, can do now and enable. Uh, the second big announcement is there's a product called iClone, which is developed by Real Illusion. So iClone is kind of an end-to-end -end animation package, so you can basically buy and source assets, you know, environments and props and characters. We now have a ability to stream directly onto those characters, so an animator can basically uh, pick out a character, hit record, you know, from their webcam, stream directly onto the character, and then there's a whole nice workflow to edit and animate, and then they have a whole back-end renderer to post everything out. So. 
full complete package, um, lower cost for that entire tool set. So I'll definitely encourage people to try yeah, that out. Voice actor and animator, definitely be looking that up. So <laughs> yeah, it's very cool. We actually uh, we took some of our interns in our office and we basically said, look, go create something. Yeah. Like we won't tell you anything about our stuff or, or you know how this is done. Like how hard is this? And in a few days, they were turning back three or four uh, animated shorts, right? Where they've you know bought their characters and voiced their own stuff and That's so cool. you know it's cool for me is you got to see their personality come through right yeah. and you could really kind of see who they are because the tools were designed in a way in which as a content creator you're just having fun you're not figuring out all these technical things so it's cool to see with this new wave of content creation kind of what uh, these tools are enabling to do and we're happy to be a part of that that is so cool. You got so many cool things. Where can people stay up to date? Website, social media wise. Yep. So facewaretech.com is um, is the biggest site that where you're or sorry is the site where you're going to get the most information. And then we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, where you know at least a few times a week we're doing uh, constant updates. Not just all about our stuff. We like to post relevant things that our user base is going to care about. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you, Peter. Okay. Take care.